Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY. And today we're working on an exhaust fan that is not operating. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Here's the exhaust system. There's a motor sitting in here. And when I came, I found the power off. Let's see what we get. Get some kind of buzzing sound. Let's shut it down. Let's take off these screws and see what's going on here. So there's two bearings here and a motor. Had a high tension. Okay. Take out my meter. Let's see what's going on. What kind of amps are we pulling here? All right. See, so here's a disconnect. I mean, this, this thing is just shoved in here. There's no connectors for these wires. This whole thing is loose. I mean, this thing needs some love. Let's see, so this is the wires going into the motor. Let's follow that. That's, where is it coming from? It's not even being used. So one wire is coming from here. Next one coming from here. So power comes in through here. Let's get an amp reading. And set this meter to amps. Seventeen point three amps, and the motor is just humming. Pulling 17 amps. What you would want to do is go over to your tag, see what this is um, wired for as far as voltage, and check the running amps. I'm looking over here. This you see the runs on 5.8 or 2.9 amps, depending if you wire it for high or low voltage. But regardless, we're completely, completely out of range. It's way too high right now to me. That looks like locked rotor. Turn the power on, so we got 120 coming in, and we heard that buzzing, so we know we got fed some kind of power, but I'm just confirming that we had 120 volts. Yes, we do. And currently, the motor just shut down on thermal overload. Got too hot. This keeps trying, keeps trying, and it's gonna shut down. And that's that, it's gonna retry once it cools down. But it's not looking good. This little tool is super key. Put in all your little fittings. Just took this off my drill. I want to get inside here. Inside this little cover up here. Should be a little capacitor, I believe. Just want to, just want to double check that. Yep. There's a little cap in here. Let's see what that's reading. Always gonna wanna discharge your capacitor. Just take a screwdriver and go across a little spade terminal to be safe. Let's see what it says over here. 161 to 193 microfarads. Okay. Here's our cap. Show you guys how to check this. So, I set this to microfarads. Right there, UF. So we're just gonna place our leads on each end and give it some time.
looking at 8.4 right now. And instead of climbing, it actually just keeps lowering. <laughs> it keeps going down. 7.7. .7. This had a huge reading, 161 to 193. And we're getting 7.3 microfarads, and instead of climbing, we're actually going down. This capacitor is not good either. Yeah, we've got seven microfarads. This thing is way off. Here's a quick little tip that I do not recommend. It's definitely the capacitor. So if you start the motor, Try to spin it by hand. Get that thing going. All right. So we just acted like we were the capacitor. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. We're gonna need a new capacitor here. Just gonna match up the ratings, swap that out and everything should be fine. The problem here is that this unit was having trouble to start. So we're gonna go with the new capacitor and everything should be all right. I'm also gonna recommend possibly changing this motor. This thing is super old and these connections are terrible. It's just really not safe. So we're gonna see what kind of repairs they wanna make, but I'm gonna leave this operating right now because they need to exhaust. And in the meantime, I'm gonna pick up a new capacitor and I'll speak with management and just see what they wanna do gotta keep this running and uh, that's pretty much it the way I would go about it is putting a new capacitor see if it started if it didn't then you know it's, it's time to replace the motor it was getting voltage it just wasn't doing its thing that's about it ladies and gentlemen that's how we're gonna go about this if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you all next time